Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Friday the 20th of January 2023 and we're publishing our silver price forecast for this year. On Wednesday we published our 23 gold forecast. In case you haven't had a chance to listen to it, we provide a link below. So, let's take a look at silver. In 2022, we saw silver open initially at $22.89, though it ended the year at 2308. Now in 2022, it reached a closing peak of $26.18 on the 9th of March and a year's low of 1777 on the 1st of September. Now it ended the year at $23.95 and opened 2023 at $24.29. So it did actually gain over a dollar during the course of the year. But all of these prices are still a far cry compared with silver's all-time high of $48.70 on the 28th of April 2011. And let this be a stark warning to all of those listening to the pumpers telling you silver will be $50, $100 or even $600 an ounce any time soon. They've been saying that since 2011 and we're now in 2023. Now, silver's descent in 2022 during that year was a little later than gold's. Gold began to descend mid-March while silver began moving downwards from about the 19th of April both beginning to ascend again, though, in earnest from early November. Like gold, the initial raising of the Fed funds rate from 0 to 0.25 to 0.25 to 0.5% on the 16th of March, and then including a total of seven interest rate rises, equaling 425 basis points, with the last rise being 50 basis points in December, resulting in the Fed's fund rate ending 425 to 4.5% really ensured that the price of silver would be somewhat subdued this year. In addition, the fear of a global recession also restricted silver's performance and in our view will do similar for 2023. Now the next FOMC announcement, by the way, will be on the 1st of Feb, just under two weeks away. The backdrop for those interested against the Fed raising rates so aggressively was of course the run-up to and the eventual four-decade peak record of US inflation which occurred in June at a rate of 9.1%. Now if we take a look at who's predicting what for silver for 2023, we can see that trading economics predict that silver is expected to trade at $24.85 by the end of this quarter and will rise to $26.72 in 12 months' time. CoinPriceForecast.com predicts that silver will reach $33.37 by the end of this year. LongForecast.com quotes silver closing the year at $24.38 and peaking in June at $32.46. We'll state why we slightly disagree with that date in a few moments. WalletInvestor.com predicts that silver will peak in September at $26.09 and will end the year $25.52. It sees silver's lowest price to be $24.35 in February, though we are in fact lower than that already. InvestingNews.com on the 13th of December quoted CPM Group's Jeffrey Christian who was forecasting a median silver price of $20.90 with a potential high of $23.50 and a low of $17.50. Of course, we are above that high figure even today with silver falling since opening as it stands at $23.83. Investinghaven.com predicts a 2023 high of $34.70. Jim Wyckoff, senior technical analyst at Kitco, says that he sees silver prices trading in a range between $22 and $27.31 an ounce, which is where we see it trading for the brunt, not all, but most of the year. Commerce Bank also sees silver prices rising to $25 an ounce. 
tradingeducation.com predicts $28.11 at the end of 2023. And Jeff Clark of goldsilver.com, which is one that will be probably followed the closest, predicts a minimum high for silver at 30, a potential high with no real crisis, maybe a slight one, at 35, and a potential high with crisis at $50. We don't agree with that bit. Potential low in recession, $18. Likelihood silver is to rise, 90%. Now, Although we have mentioned in previous videos, and especially in the video entitled Debunking the Silver Shortage Myth, which again we've put a link below, silver supply will more than likely trail silver demand this year. But the difference is very unlikely to have a serious impact on the price of silver, simply because there is still so much of it available above ground. So what do we believe will happen to silver prices during 23 and by the year end? Well, we have to agree that we believe we have already seen the 20-year peak of the dollar index last year when it rose above 114 and did not quite reach 115, which is what we forecasted would have been its potential ultimate highest level. So we're quite pleased with that prediction. The dollar index currently stands at 102.3. And whilst we do envisage that it will fall further during this year, we suspect most of the fall will be once the Fed has stopped raising rates or has given the indication it's going to stop raising rates. We do, however, predict that will not occur until mid-year and the third quarter. Now, that will then have a positive effect on gold and silver. However, the advent of a recession, and especially if it proves worse than many are now predicting, will have a significantly downward impact on silver because over 50% of its demand is for industrial purposes. If we can avoid a deep recession, then silver could stabilize and move forward. The consensus amongst economists is that we will have a recession, possibly a deep one, but it will be very short-lived. Now, in addition to that, we still have geopolitical concerns with regard to Russia and Ukraine, no surprises here, but further turbulence with China and potentially North Korea, plus a potentially disturbing political, possibly economic, though not military conflict between the US and Europe. We'll cover more on this in the months ahead. Throwing all of this into the melting pot, our forecast for silver for 2023 is not remarkably adrift from Jeff Clark of Gold Silver though we do not see his potential $50 forecast occurring, unless, of course, there is an incredible run on the US dollar, which we don't envisage. So the potential low for silver, according to our estimates for this year, is $17, though we do suspect 18 is more likely. We also expect silver to rise towards the end of the year as the Fed rate increases not only stop, but potentially go into reverse. And therefore, we forecast a year-end figure for silver resting between $27 and $29, on the proviso that inflation is continuing to fall and rates have not exceeded 5 to 5.25%. 5 if inflation proves more persistent and the Fed finds itself not to be able to start reducing rates again, then silver will be little changed from the start of this year, somewhere between $24 and $25. So we are bullish for silver in 23, but we still hold the view that gold will outperform silver this year, but there being a potential reversal next year where silver's industrial demand picks up as we exit out of the recession and silver will outperform gold in 2024. What do you think? Do share your thoughts. Finally, if you're considering thinking about purchasing gold and silver, do make contact with the Pure Gold Company, link below, who are only too happy not to only discuss short-term purchases and sales, but also long-term strategies and retirement considerations. They will also offer you a discount or special terms if you state you were referred by Illuminati Silver, and we too will receive a very small consideration. Meanwhile, thank you so much for listening. If you haven't done so, do subscribe to the channel not forgetting to press the bell sign so you're notified of our videos as and when they're published. Until our weekly update, which we'll publish tomorrow, have a great day.
Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.